Hi everybody, I am Adriana Stovall and I am here on beautiful Santa Rosa Island. And this is the second monitoring trip for my capstone project. I am doing a marine debris um, comparative analysis of different assessment methods. And um, I have spent the last week out here at the research station um, collecting data. And about a week and a half ago, I was out on Santa Cruz Island doing the same. So we have four different sites on Santa Rosa Island and three sites on Santa Cruz Island. Um, and as you can see here, I am right next to all of our mega bags with all of the marine debris that we have collected over the last couple of months. So um, we have separate bags for our monitoring sites and then we also have bags which we call tonnage bags which are just trash removal from wherever we can find it. Um, it's been a really interesting trip. We take these UTVs all over the island. They're these um, buildings back here are the lab and the garage with all of the different tools that we have. So it's been wonderful. I'm gonna interview um, Joe Forrest and Matt Fermansky and Brian Larson, who are part of the Marine Debris um, Monitoring Crew, uh, so they can give you some history on the project. All right, yeah, we're out here on Santa Rosa Island continuing our marine debris program. Um, the Santa Rosa Island Research Station has been collecting marine debris and tracking it since 2016 when a uh, ESRM undergraduate took it on as her capstone project. Uh, Michaela Miller is now part of the National Marine Sanctuary Foundation and is helping continue this legacy hopefully in the future. Um, but what we, do, what we do here is we visit four beaches on Santa Rosa Island and three beaches on Santa Cruz Island. Uh, we track and categorize marine debris within transects on those beaches. Um, along with tracking debris, we also do large removals on the, on the beaches. Um, since 2016, we've removed over 16,000 pounds of trash, and a lot of that being derelict fishing gear that we, uh, we find out on the beaches. It's one of the major uh, issues out here is, is rope and buoys from derelict fishing gear and, and that fishery. <laughs> um, and we, uh, we remove the bulk of it on the north side where they do a lot of uh, lobster fishing. But yeah, so we've, uh, yeah, like I said, removed 16,000, over 16,000 pounds of trash. We've categorized over 30,000 pieces of debris within our transects and uh, we track it on seven beaches. Cool. All right, I'm, I'm Brian Larson. I'm a student intern for the Santa Rosa Island Research Station. I'm a veteran, student veteran, and I help assist with the uh, marine debris removals here on Santa Rosa and Santa Cruz Island. I started in spring 2021 and yeah, pulled a lot of trash off a lot of beaches since then. I uh, spent a lot of time uh, back on mainland helping to sort and categorize it. I also helped with plastic characterization on a lot of the little bug debris they pulled from the transects and I started building out that database and hopefully that'll give us some cool insights once all that data gets you know, run through and analyzed. My name is Matt Romansky. I am a professor of art at California State University, Channel Islands. I am involved in the Marine Debris Grant Program, uh, mostly as a volunteer. Uh, I started on this it, actually way back in 2015. Um, I came out here with Cos Anna to survey some potential beaches for this project. I was at that time very interested in using the Marine Debris as a Capstone and uh, again, all kind of as trying to get art and science to play together in a really kind of fun and interesting way, and in a way that uh, appeals to a wide audience um, beyond just the scientific community. Perfect, thank you. All right.